Thursday, 60th of February. Nice early start this morning. Top of five. Loading all the tools. <coughs> Excuse me. Been in the shop, got some breakfast. Been told by my pasty ass in the face. I actually got a decent amount of suit. Solid sort of, I was in bed from nine up at five. Oh, but plan of the day, let me spin you around. Unload all the tools on the Volvo. Without dropping them, could dig out this basin and get some more uh, stone shippings put in. I'm going to line the second basin, screed the second basin, put the steels up for the third basin. Carry on with the half a million litre crew pond and get the site prepped, ready for fibergassing on the weekend. So, got a crack on, unloading this cart. Cook breakfast on the uh, barbecue in the polytunnel. Well, I shall do that. And then I'll nip off to the normal morning routine, pick up on the boys up. Drop them off at school, drop them off at work, come back to the farm and get to crack a lacking. So let me snap back to you in about an hour once I've dropped out from the kids off at work. And my pasty ass face is looking an awful lot better. Let's go. I tell you what, it's amazing what a cup of tea can do. Now, it's off my bacon sausage butty. Uh, it's currently five to nine. Uh, I'll eat that, then I'll show you what the brick is doing. Let's go. So, uh, Operation, get the sandbag in. Big Jay's uh, got it hung up for me. Got me new knife that Sean Kimber bought me. Sam, well clear with the bag coming open. No, 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 it's still full. There she blows. Cheers, Big Jay. Straight up and over, no messy, no marder. Let's go. Okay, so because I'm uh, mixing up a screed, uh, I've got a ton of sharp sand and I've got uh, 10 bags of tough cement. So basically the mix that I'm doing is a four to one mix. So basically it's eight of these to one bag of cement. Uh, just mix it through dry, don't need to wet it up or anything like that. So I'm gonna keep mixing this through in piles down here. And I'm going to start pushing it towards the back, finding the height line that I want to go to, which is pretty much going to be uh, between on here, these two bolts there, all the way around, because then it's uniformed all the way through. Uh, and then I'll start actually building in uh, for the centerpiece. So let me go ahead and start mixing this. I'll snap back to you in a sec. Let's go. So as you can see now, that's mixing through. You can see the clear colour difference between the two. So that mixed through for a few more minutes and then what we'll do is we'll slowly walk the uh slowly walk the cement mixer all the way around just tipping that towards the sides and then slowly feather it down to absolutely nothing here in the middle let's go okay so here's basically what, what i'm doing mixing it through and then obviously i've got a three meter uh piece all the way through <coughs> slowly just leaning on the bottom and just fanning it round, fanning it round, fanning it round, just trying to get the back all set in at the same sort of height. An awful lot more of this to go through, got another two or three tonne. But get in there, slowly but surely. Let's go. Okay, okay. So, I found where I'm actually going to be screeding off, which is this point here. Uh, obviously, you can see where I've walked on it at the minute, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from this point here so I'm going to screed it back, so I know this bit's done. And then I'm going to slowly start moving this round, because that's one tonne of uh, sharp sand to uh, 10 bags of cement to mix it through. And start fettling it all through, so I can actually figure out for cost saving, because the easiest thing in the world to do, knackered, the easiest thing in the world to do is just to literally go ahead or a 15 tonne and be like, oh yeah, there you go. But obviously, counting the pennies, watching the pounds, so it's easier for me to set the precedence on this vat. Big word for me, I know. Uh, it's easy for me to set the precedence on this vat 
and go ahead and I'll know exactly how much more uh, I've got left to do. So look at my arms now. I want this one tattooed next. It feels weird having a plain arm. You know what I mean? Um, well, yeah, another five minutes of that mixing through. I'm going to stop now, have myself a quick little adult break, <laughs> cigarette, uh, and, a, and a cup of tea, a nice cup of tea. Um, and get to cracking, but jobs like this going to make the weight fall off. <laughs> okay, so basically that's a quarter, well, just over a quarter of the quadrant done, so be around four ton uh, to get this uh, base all in and complete. So I'm just waiting for uh, Big J to finish up on the digger over the back there. And then we should have around a ton and, uh, a ton and three quarters there. And I've got another ton of sharp sand on the back of his truck. So we'll get all that tipped in here. And then we'll be rocking and rolling and we'll get this one all fettled in nice today. Look, I've sprayed this down now. Uh, so that literally will be walkable uh, as of tomorrow. But I've just left the beam on there just so it goes off underneath the beam. But you can see that it tapers all the way down to that bottom drain on a perfect lip. One of the slow jobs, but it's a job that needs doing and a job that needs doing right. To be fair to Scraggy and Mr. Endres, they did uh, the back to over there and did an absolutely outstanding job. An absolutely outstanding job. So fingers crossed we can, uh, we can do the same on this one. Get this in, get it full, and then uh, we've got the Nexus 320 over the back to go over there in the corner. So we, uh, we're rocking and rolling, but let me take you in and show you what the Bricky's done. Let's go. So we've got the boys in today. Bricky's back. Absolutely rocking and rolling through here. Obviously, that's where our window's going to go, and that's the finished height there. The same as the uh, the other one at the back. Obviously, we've got to build the floors up and stuff like that yet. Because uh, no one's going to be able to stand here and look at fish. But... By the time we've added on an extra sort of uh, four or five inches on the floor, everything will be hunky dory. No. Bought two seven and a half thousand gallon koi ponds. Literally just got to take this course all the way through to the back, and then these have got to be uh, plied with 18 mil, and then we've got butcher cement, the uh, butcher, the uh, fiberglass are coming over. But that there will literally be the view straight when you walk through them doors. This weekend, we also got all the troops over, jacking these legs up, get it in that extra little sort of seven, eight percent that we need to make it back skin tight again. But obviously, the polytunnel's gone to move, we expected that. That's why we've been leaving the doors open just so it can wiggle, it, wiggle itself free like that now, is a little bit loose. But by the time we've actually gone ahead and jacked the bars up, we're absolutely bang on. So we've got the welding Spider-Man back and he's even gone and welding me together with my very own little pry bar. Turns out it works an absolute dream, doesn't it, John boy? Yeah. Woo, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is like a drum. Check this out. Bear in mind, we've only jacked this left side and we haven't jacked the right side yet. Bosh. Okay, so we've got uh, one tank all uh, fiberglass in. Obviously, we've raised it up again so we can let that styro leach out. Uh, same as on this one. We've got a big bad butch back. So, lads living the best life getting all this in. And we have jacked up the tunnel. Look at that. It's like a mirror finish, man. Uh, you see, we jacked up there sort of four or five inches. You can literally walk down the old thing, slapping it. And I'm hitting that pretty damn hard. Look at that. Ooh. So, literally, just got these two front bits here to do. Let's go. Okay, so, polytunnel has been jacked on all sides. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Loving life. Uh, as I explained earlier on, Apply wall the sheeting uh, on the walls. Obviously, just acts uh, as the same as normal insulation does. This is far cheaper because the deal that we've got for Timber Merchant. Um, some serious amount of graft and labour has gone into this farm. Front's been pulled in now. That's all nice and tight as well. And obviously, we've had both uh, front left 
and front right ponds uh, fiberglass as well uh, we're going to mix the screed up floor on here tomorrow but that's going to be its own little video and then we've got 40 ton of screed coming because we need to do this pond and we need to do 15 ponds outside as well um so we're getting there we're flying folks it's been a tough old week it has it's been it's been some serious graft uh, absolutely uh cream cracker obviously it's lovely to have a yacht over here uh, and also for you guys to hear how impressed he is with the farm and stuff like that. Uh, getting ready for the big toast I import that's coming over. So I'm absolutely, uh, absolutely buzzing. I just want to thank you, everybody uh, that's reached out and offered me uh, support and stuff like that. I'm getting this place off the ground because you've all individually helped me uh, build my dream. And obviously I will keep continuing to give back those that have helped out know exactly what I mean. Um, well, yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the white's coming off me now. Look at my little pinhead going, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's still coming off, uh, still laying off the red balls and stuff like that. Finger. Grim. Absolutely grim, but getting there. Uh, Polytunnel's dead tight, more than happy with this one now. Uh, tomorrow, once we've uh, screened the floor, uh, all these runs that you see here, where they're open, we're going to go ahead, uh, backfill them, get the whack plate out, and just whack it all down in here, get ready for when we actually build the floors up to make sure it's accessible to everybody because not everybody like me is six foot two um so we are rocking and rolling uh with that for tomorrow uh but yeah like i say this video has been done over a sort of four five day period uh so hope you're liking what you see okay sunday 19th of february reefer oasis coil farm got the ball and reefer top on super bright super orange uh yoss is still here uh still got ash and we still got the uh, welding spider-man uh he's here too uh, today's job is screeding in the floor inside the Kui Academy. Uh, me and Yoss have just been uh, discussing floor heights um, of how the Kui Academy is going to need to be. Uh, originally, we were going to raise it up maybe 8 to 10 inches, but we need to go more so sort of 18 to 20 inches raising it up. Um, so we've got more than enough uh, room for the uh, smaller folk out there to be able to see over the top of the basket. So for me and Yoss at 6'1 and 6'2. Um, but for everybody else, we need to make sure it's viewable and accessible. Uh, I'll spin you around, show you exactly what we're doing in here, uh, and then uh, me and Yoss will do a little bit of a walkthrough with uh, exactly where we're going to put the floor. Let's go. So the window needs to be cut out. What we did yesterday, as discussed, is uh, we made the framing go to where we're actually going to chop all this out today. Uh, me and the lads have just been getting on with the tape work, uh, just seaming up all of the joints. So big thanks to uh, Scouse Dino. Uh, for sorting the tape out for me, thank you very much brother uh, and then the floor, we're actually going to go ahead and get that screened in today because me and Ash are going to be fiberglassing this in the week um, we've mixed the screed up, what we've done is we've done a 3 to 1 mix on sharp sand uh, mixed through with cement, so this has just got the natural moisture uh, that's inside of the sharp sand at the minute uh, but once we've actually pulled it all across, we'll actually go ahead and spray it all down with the hose uh, in order to be able to do it Typically what we do is we'd use these buttons here, these 2v1s, we place them down. Uh, but because, as you can see on the bottom here, we only need to come to sort of uh, three, four mil, we're going to come from around half an inch on the outside uh, down to that sort of three, four mil finish. Um, so there's not a lot of screen to go in this one. The one at the back, we will definitely need uh, to put some guides down simply due to the fact that obviously here needs to be built up in the middle uh, at about sort of three inches so we're going to go from sort of like an eight inch on the side all the way down to nothing because that's how the brick you left the old one and that is how we've left the other one so the big trev was over uh, obviously block work is incredible um, super tight uh, on the mortar bed nice and even and uniformed the folio of the tunnel still drum tight which is which is awesome and as you can see the sun's beating down and you can literally see the color grade difference now of how tight that is all the way over uh so the floor yoss we were saying we were originally going to build it up yeah. sort of four blocks high weren't we but we're going to need to sort of double that in essence yeah because otherwise it's uh, for cash it will be difficult and for us we can have a good look inside the percent but anybody that's one that's more than us will look more like oh no, it's going. <laughs> So this you is... have to get a little bit higher, so, but it's a nice view anyway, so at the front you will have the lower level as what you calculated before, and then some nice step here, one or two steps up to look everything into the percent, so uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice view. Also breaks the circle inside of the tunnel, so if you have done a few steps up here, also breaks that part a little bit, so yeah, looking nice. Absolutely, but... Getting there in a nice way. 
So what's your thoughts on the farm then, mate? Impressed with what you've seen? Yeah, you're doing quite well. So there's a lot of work, still a lot of work to be done, but you know that is always, we are uh, koi keepers, so uh, koi keepers always have something extra to do. So. Yeah. But ah. yeah, really impressive. It really goes uh, forward in a fast way and in a good way, which is the most important thing. You can work fast, Yeah. that have to be good also. So uh, no, it really looks nice, so uh, yeah. And happy with the fishes that are on site and the plans that we've got going forward yes. and stuff like that? Yes, yes. Everything that's on, on site now looks good, so uh, we just checked this morning and uh, yesterday too, so they all look good. And uh, especially the, the percents that are uh, now uh, being done for the next follow-up for the fishes that are coming. So, so yeah. two weeks time fish are here, two yeah? Two weeks time, yeah, and I'm back. There you go, there you go. <laughs> Jos loves England. Um, so let me, uh, let me snap back to you in a second once we drop in the screen into the bottom of it and show you exactly how we're pulling that across. Let's go. Okay, so me, John, Ash, and the welding spider man, which is just outside grabbing the coffees, have uh, gone ahead and uh, screed it in the floor. We need one spoon over here. That's very So Josh calls a shovel a spoon. Big spoon. So uh, Ash was actually taught by some Albanians to screed floor, he was telling us just. Um, so it's far easier to do it on your hands and knees and then what he does if you see there where he's actually beveling on the floor with his knees he actually goes ahead uh, and he'll just slowly work his way to the back um, we can do the majority of the, uh, the donkey work and stuff like that but at times it just takes a professional like Ash to be able to jump in and just literally get that masterpiece done because for us this is a crucial element of making sure that both of these bottom drains work an absolute treat um, once we've gone ahead and screened all of this in what we're then going to do is just literally uh, spray it off with a light mist we've already sprayed the floor before we actually started putting the screed down so the bottom layer uh, of this screed has already started to absorb the concrete um, and then it's just the top layer then that will uh, go ahead and wet so in turn then the bottom wet layer will meet the top wet layer in the middle uh, and in here proper warm today isn't it John? yep so this uh, this should be dry or drying throughout the day so we'll have to just keep our eye on it and keep testing it and checking it out just to see if we need to add any more uh, water to it because obviously we don't want the screed to go off too quickly or anything like that so we're uh, rocking and rolling. Let's go. Okay, so floor is screeded. You will notice that we've left this patch here. Uh, the reason why we've left that patch there uh, is tomorrow we'll come through and we'll put a bit more screed in there once we can actually stand on top of this here. What we're about to do now is spray all this down. Uh, so it's got a good sort of uh, 12 to 18 hours to go off. And then we're going to move out of here and we're going to go over to the quarantine tunnel because you see the framing that's there we're going to go ahead and we're going to build that framing now on the front over there it's thursday and friday which at the time this video goes out on tuesday it's now sunday uh, thursday and friday we'll actually be go ahead and covering uh the quarantine uh the quarantine house so we've got the fiberglasses back over in the week um some absolutely fantastic progress coming up the farm um it's getting there, it is getting there. The date will be announced very shortly. Uh, fish land in two weeks, yeah? Yeah. Two yeah. weeks, the fish land. Uh, should we do another night with Yoss Abba and go for some food again? Sorry? Should we do another night out and go for a steak again? <laughs> there you go. So Yoss, Yoss and April were knocking back uh, the porn star martinis left, right and centre, weren't you, mate? Yeah, I did two days evening. <laughs> there I you go. Two already, but I need another two. Need another two porn star martinis. Right, let me snap back to you in a sec. Let's go.